The strike by lecturers from public universities has entered its second week. And this week, tensions have escalated. The lecturers carrying placards and singing songs of protest held a peaceful march through the streets of Nairobi, hoping to voice their concerns to various government institutions. This was not just a standard protest. With cheers and laughter, they danced and sang, showing that hope still lingers. But their peaceful demonstration was suddenly interrupted by the sound of police whistles, and a cat and mouse chase began. <laughs> police, both in uniform and plain clothes, swarmed the streets using tear gas to disperse the crowd. It wasn't only the protesters who suffered. Journalists covering the event were also caught in the mayhem. Still holding their placards high, some lecturers were arrested and detained by the police. But this didn't deter them. With the Secretary General of the University Academic Staff Union, Uwasu, Constantine Weswanga, strongly condemning the police for failing to protect peaceful protesters. It is not for us to go and request the policemen for permission. Our duty is to notify them. And they are supposed to provide us with security. And this is a confirmation that we notified them on uh, 19th September 2024. The lecturers are protesting the government's failure to honor the 2017-2021 collective bargaining agreement, demanding unpaid allowances and comprehensive health insurance. IPCCF does not want us to give us automatic annual increment. Yes. And that is why we have differed. The next thing, our medical schemes have since collapsed in all public universities. We want the government to come up with one uniform, non contributory comprehensive medical In addition, they are calling for guaranteed pensions upon retirement. The government owes university staff pension component for 2010-2012 CBA, 2013-2012. 2017 CBA amounting to 3.56 billion. The lecturers who are furious have denied claims made by the Education Cabinet Secretary Julius Ogamba that they have agreed to return to work. To the CS Minister of Education, my senior Ogamba, CBA are not negotiated through letters. Despite an order from the Employment and Labor Relations Court instructing them to suspend the ghost law until their case is heard, the lecturers have vowed to continue striking until their demands are fully met. All dons throughout the country listen to the voice of the union. Can you stop? Join the strike. I want you to intensify this strike. I want you to escalate the strike, and I want you to upscale the strike. A week ago, Judge Jacob Gakeri stressed the need for further negotiations to avoid disruptions in the higher education sector with a ruling expected on October 2nd. Mariam Jahid, K24, Nairobi.